everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today in this episode of Doll Comparisons, I'm going to be doing a doll comparison on all um, six of the released DC Superhero Girls 12-inch dolls, and check them out all together as a collection. Um, four of them I haven't unboxed yet, so we'll check out their boxes first. And uh, then all of them side by side. But before I do that, I just wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you to all my subscribers for all your support, video watching, and um, thumbs up and comments. I really do appreciate them. They mean a lot to know that you guys enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy making them for you. And if you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button and um, let's get started okay first off we're gonna start with Harley's box checking out her artwork and here is the back you can see more about Harley Quinn and it has the other dolls in the line next is Bumblebee she has such pretty hair and artwork and a look at the back Next, we'll check out Batgirl and the back of her box. And finally, here is Supergirl's box and the back. It says her hometown is a planet Krypton. I know that's where she's from, but I thought. I wonder if in DC Superhero Girls, the planet is still there. Okay, here's all six DC Superhero Girls out of their box, and they all stand on their own. None of them come with doll stands because they're made to stand on their own two feet. And another thing you might notice is that they are all a very athletic build because each doll was modeled after, their body shape was modeled after real female athletes. They all come with the Superhero High School Identity Card, and the thing I really love is that even the pictures represent their personality, like you got Harley kind of being silly, and then Poison Ivy looking a little shy, and Batgirl's on her phone because she's a techie, she loves her, you know, gadgets, and just really cool artwork for each of their individual IDs. And on the back of each card it has a little paragraph about each girl and then it tells the superpowers. It also has the website. You can find more information on them is dcsuperherogirls.com. Okay, next we're going to check out their faces. So I noticed that three of the girls have red lipstick and three have pink. So the three with red are Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Harley Quinn. And I really like that Harley Quinn is not only smiling, but she's grinning and showing teeth, which was true to her character's personality. And then also a uh, similarity that these three have is they all have blue eyes. Next up we have Bumblebee, Batgirl, and Poison Ivy. Those three all have the pink lipstick, and Bumblebee has brown eyes, while the two redheads, Batgirl and Poison Ivy, have green eyes. And Poison Ivy has a little bit of a light green eyeshadow, and Bumblebee has pink eyeshadow that matches her lipstick. Like I said, there's two redheads in the group, Poison Ivy and Batgirl. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the reds of their hair. Batgirl is more of a natural, subdued red, while Poison Ivy has streaks of really, really neon red and orangey colors so it's a bit brighter and Batgirl's hair is shorter and next we'll look at the two blondes Supergirl and Harley Quinn of course Supergirl has her hair loose and Harley has her two piggy tails and uh, Supergirl's blonde is more a yellow blonde while Harley Quinn is really really white blonde I would almost call it just white because it's so so light and then she has the streak of blue and red in her hair and here's what they look like from behind side by side you can really see the difference between the tones of blonde 
And the last two is Bumblebee and Wonder Woman who have the darker colored hair. Um, Bumblebee does have light blonde streaks through her hair, but the most of it is a chocolate brown color. And then she has the really cool uh, braid on the side of her head. And then uh, Wonder Woman <laughs> has black hair with the blue streaks in it. So each of them come with their own special either bracelet or like gauntlet on their wrists and arms. For Supergirl, she has one blue cuff and one blue, uh, and one red cuff, sorry. And then we have Bumblebee, who has matching pair of blue and yellow um, little wrists. And then she has, it, it like fires, and that's her weapon too. And then we have Batgirl with the yellow arm bracers. And then she has black painted on gloves. There's Wonder Woman with her silver cuffs. And Poison Ivy has not cuffs really, but it does go on her wrist. And it's her plant vine power coming out. Really cool. And then finally we have Harlequin with her black spiky bracelet. Alright, now to check out each of their outfits. We have Harlequin with her jester-like look, and it's red and black, white and blue. And then she has her giant blue and red mallet with little short blue shorts. And then painted on leggings, one leg is black and one is red. And then she has these really cool um, shoes with plastic socks, and they're blue and black with white socks. Next we have Supergirl, which she has her little dress on. It's blue on top with the Supergirl logo, which is actually the crest of her family. And then we have the red skirt with gold and yellow trim. And then her sneakers, sneaker boots, uh, they look like Converse sneakers, high tops red with white laces and she also has white socks that are actually made out of fabric this time which is really cool and she also has this red plastic cape that attaches with those two little prongs on the top and then the, what I really thought was cool is around the bottom edge of her cape you have these symbols which I'm guessing are Kryptonian words or uh, symbols. I thought that was a cool little design extra feature. Next up is Bumblebee and she has a black and yellow design top and it looks like honeycomb um, design on the sides with a gold shiny panel in the front and then she has her two wrist uh, I don't know what to call them bands but they're her weapons and then black leggings and then the bottom of the leggings have, again, that honeycomb design in yellow. And they tuck into her boots, which are yellow and black. And of course, Bumblebee has wings, which come out of this blue, techie-looking backpack. And I love the design of the wings. They're so cool. Next up is Batgirl, which she has this super cool hood with the little bat ears, a black mask. And going down her top is purple color with the bat symbol on it and also this really awesome circuitry board design which she's like a techie she loves her gadgets so that really is a cool design for her and then she has her two gauntlets with black painted on gloves a yellow belt that has is like all those pouches she keeps her gadgets in and black leggings with yellow stitching down the side and they tuck into her yellow combat boots with black laces and much like bumblebee she also has a backpack instead of being wings and resembling a bee hers of course is for a bat you can see the wings in the top of the backpack in the bottom all make up that symbol, which is really a cool design as well. Next up is Wonder Woman, who has a gold circlet around her head with a red star. These gold 
uh, shoulder pieces, <laughs> shoulder pads that go across her chest, white and red shirt with stars, silver cuffs. She also comes with her silver, not silver, gold lasso of truth, a gold belt, blue leggings with stars on the outside edge, and then red tall boots that have a white stripe in the front and cool wings on the sides. And finally, Poison Ivy is all themed about plants, of course. She has a vine and a rose in her hair, the green top with fancy design of vines, a belt made out of vines and a rose, her vines coming out of her hand for her plant powers. She has green leggings under her top. And then finally, her shoes are leafy and then vines going all the way up to her knees. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this DC Superhero Girls doll comparison. I cannot wait for the next line and more characters to come out. I really like how they're all very strong, realistic body shapes and bright colors. Um, they're so cool and pretty all very flexible they have arm um, they have wrist elbow and shoulder joints as well as hip and knee joints so it makes them lots of flexible fun to pose and play with um, yeah so tell me down below what you think of them a haul which one is your favorite um, my favorites are Harlequin and Poison Ivy. Um, they're just like, I've always been two of my favorite characters out of the DC comic universe. Um, but I really, between uh, this doll and the CBS show, I am really starting to like Supergirl too. Um, I didn't know much about her really before the DC Superhero Girls between that and the Supergirl show on CBS. So, yep, let me know down in the comments. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later.